Hello everybody and welcome back to Advanced Maths. Today we're looking at graph transformations, reflections. This is part of three videos on enlargements, translations and reflections, so check out the other two videos if you'd like to learn more. Okay, here we've got a graph f of x and we've got this coordinate minus 4, 5. We're going to reflect this and the way we reflect it is just by making the entire graph negative. So f, y equals f minus f of x will make the entire graph negative. And to look at the y coordinate, it was the y coordinate was 5, now the y coordinate is minus 5. And so you just swap the sign of the y coordinate and you reflect the entire curve in the x axis. So minus f of x is a reflection in the x axis. Okay? The y coordinate swap sign. So if the y coordinate was 5, it becomes minus 5. If it was negative, now it becomes positive. Okay, now we've got this curve here, y equals f of x, and we're focusing on the point minus 6, 2. Here we're going to do y equals f of minus x, where the minus is inside the bracket. And look at the curve, it's been reflected on the y-axis. Here, the x coordinate has gone from minus 6 to plus 6. The x coordinate has swapped sign. So, f of minus x is a reflection in the y-axis. And the x coordinate swapped sign. If it was negative, it becomes positive. If it was positive, it becomes negative. Okay? I really like reflections. I think it's my favourite type of transformation. You, want to, you might want to pause the visual there, take a screenshot, or even make a poster of this information yourself. If you're ready, you can try these practice questions, but if you'd like to watch it one more time before you do, uh, rewind the video yourself. Sketch these graphs uh, on pen and paper. You might want to even screenshot this and print it out yourself so you can draw it properly. Label the coordinates of the minimum point after each transformation. So we're going to do y equals minus f of x and y equals f of minus x. Make sure you get it the right way around. In the exam, you will uh, lose marks if you do the wrong type of reflection, uh, if the minus sign is in a different place. Make sure you label the uh, coordinates of the, uh, this point correctly as well. Okay, I'll reveal the answers in three, two, one. Here we go. Okay, there we go. Those are the two new graphs. Did you get it right? Let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching this week's video from Advanced Maths. Remember we have plenty more videos coming from every week for GCC, A-Level and IB Maths. So remember to like and subscribe for more videos. Thanks for watching guys and good luck in your exams.